I welcome back in the online video tutorial. Now we'll see comparison of infrastructure versus ad hoc network. So first we'll discuss about the infrastructure network. After that we'll discuss about the ad hoc network. Infrastructure network. Many WLANs of the today needs an infrastructure network. Infrastructure networks not only provide access to other network but also includes forwarding functions, medium access control etc. In this infrastructure based wireless network, communication typically takes place only between the wireless nodes and uh, the access points but not directly between the wireless nodes. The access point does not just control medium access but also acts as a bridge to other wireless or wired network. So access point here it is represented by using the AP. Right? AP denotes the access point. Now figure shows three access point. One, two, three. Right? with their three wireless networks and a wired network. So this is the wired network and this is the wireless network. Two nodes are connected here. Here again two mobile nodes are connected. Here one uh, laptops and one mobile node is connected. right? So here in this network two laptops are connected with the access points. right? So several wireless networks may form one logical wireless network. So the access points, so together with the fixed network in between, so can connect the several wireless network to form a larger network beyond the actual radio coverage. Right? So here the shaded portion represent the actual radio coverage, right? And this, uh, by using the dotted line, this infrastructure network is represented for these two networks. Or for this two access point. So typically, uh, the design of the infrastructure-based wireless network is simpler because most of the network functionality lies within the access point only. Right? Whereas the wireless client can remain quite simple. So this structure is of uh, switched Ethernet or uh, other we can call them as a star based network right so where a central element for example switch controls the network flow right so this type of network can use the different access schemes with or without collision right so collision may occur if the medium access of the wireless nodes and the access point is not coordinated right so when the collision will be occurred so if the access point and coordinators uh, wireless node is not coordinated with each other so in that case the collision will be occur. but however if only the access point control the medium access no collisions are possible right so this setting may be useful for uh, quality of service guarantees such as minimum bandwidth for the certain nodes right the access point may put the single wireless node to ensure the data rate. Infrastructure based network lose some of the flexibility wireless network can offer. For example, they cannot be used for the disaster relief in cases where no infrastructure is there. Right? So in case of uh, we can't use this infrastructure network in disaster management or because due to some earthquake or due to some fires we are not able to maintain this uh, fixed network so whatever the fixed points we are using here right so this is the drawback of the infrastructure network right but cellular phone networks are infrastructure based network for the wide area right so also satellite based cellular phones have infrastructure is the satellite satellite is the infrastructure right which is fixed infrastructure does not necessarily implies a wire fixed network right so this is about the 
infrastructure network so one act here in the diagram so three access point is considered as a wired network uh, connected with the wired network and along with this access point separate wireless network is created so in the diagram so first access point is connected with the two wireless devices here also two here also two right now we'll talk about the ad hoc network right so in the ad hoc network we are not using the fixed network or access points also so ad hoc wireless networks however do not need any infrastructure to work right so each node can communicate directly with each others but in the previous infrastructure so each node is directly not directly communicating with each other they need to communicate through only access points right so here the each node can communicate directly with other nodes right so no access point controlling medium access is necessary now figure shows the two ad hoc network with three nodes each right so here three and here also three nodes within an uh, ad hoc networks can only communicate if they can reach each other physically that is if they are within each other's radio range physically means if they are within each other's radio range or if others node can forward the messages nodes from the two network shown in the figure so cannot or therefore communicate with each others if they are not within the same radio range they are not communicating with each others right so if they are in the same radio range then and then they are able to communicate so in the ad hoc network the complexity of each node is higher because every node has to implement medium access mechanism the mechanism to handle the hidden or uh, exposed terminal problems and uh, perhaps the priority mechanisms to provide a certain quality of service right so again to avoid some hidden uh, to handle some hidden and exposed terminal problems so different kind of mechanisms you need to provide right so this type of wireless network exhibits the greatest possibility possible flexibility as it is so if you consider the example so needed for unexpected meetings or quick replacement of infrastructure or communication scenario for away from any infrastructure so in that case this kind of hoc network is used so this is about the ad hoc network and infrastructure network thank you hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel after subscription you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos thank you thank you so much